this video, I'm going to attempt to explain the swimming pool problem in our book. Um, it says a swimming pool is 50 meters long and 20 meters wide. Its depth decreases linearly, linearly from 1 meter to 3 meters. The pool is empty and is being filled at a rate of 1 cubic meters per minute. How fast is the water level rising at a particular minute after it begins? All right, the important thing to understand here is you really have two different three-dimensional shapes stacked on top of each other. The top is just a standard box, and it is 1 meter by 20 meters by 50 meters, assuming that you could um, fill it all the way to the top. Okay, this bottom wedge, um, as imagine again it, it, that it's filling up with water, what we're going to see is you're going to see kind of these small rectangular slices, and as it gets deeper, it's going to become wider and wider and wider until I hit at this point, and then it just rises as a box. Okay, so what I have is I have... Um, Basically, this width is changing. Now, um, if the whole thing is three meters deep and this top wedge is one, then that means that this has got to be two meters. Okay, so my top shape is a box, which is basically, um, you know, just one by 20 by 50. But the bottom is changing. So what I basically have... Um, now, it's easier to think about it as this volume of this shape as a solid. So imagine that this is just a solid um, wedge. Then what's going to happen is to find the volume of the shape, it'd be the area of this triangle times how wide it is. So the volume of this shape would be the area of the triangle um, times the distance here, which is 20 meters. Okay, so the volume would be one half base times height times 20. So that's the volume of the bottom wedge. Okay, now the base would be this measurement and the height would be this one. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Jen, don't we know that the base is 2 and the height is 50? Yes, when this is completely filled with water, that is true. But as this is starting to rise up, I'm going to have a different base and a different height depending on each moment that I am filling this thing up. So what we're going to do is we're going to use similar triangles. Okay, so at any particular moment in time, the base of this triangle to the height of the triangle will be the same as the total of 2 as it is to 50. Okay, now, since we care about how fast it's rising, um, we actually want to have this in terms of this letter B here, um, because that's how I labeled my my base of my triangle is this B that's to the side. So what I want to do is I want to actually uh, solve this so that it is, let's see, it'd be 25B equals H. Okay, because what we're interested in is the water level rising and that relates to this side, which is B. Okay, so I'm going to replace H by 25B. And clean this up a little bit, and it looks like I'm going to have, let's see, 25 times 20, but also times, or by a half, so that should be 250 B squared. Okay. All right, that looks a lot better now. So now I'm going to take the derivative with respect to time, and I'm going to get 500 B D B D T. So what's going to happen is B is our water depth at any particular moment in time. DB dt is how fast it's raising. It's rising? There we go. Okay. 
And dv dt is our hose. And this is actually constant at one cubic meter per minute. All right, so all that's pretty much left to do is we need to know at what depth are we talking about. So are we at a depth of one meter, at 1.2 meters, at 1.5 meters, at two meters. Now, once we get past two meters, then what's gonna happen is we're gonna actually switch shapes. So once we are past two meters, then of depth, we'll now be in the top shape. So if we pass two meters of depth, we'll be at the top shape which would be a, a volume equals. And here, the 20 and the 50 are constant, but the depth, um, which I'll just call uh, little d for depth, this will change depending on how uh, tall we are at that moment. Okay, so we just need to find out if at the time that they're asking, are we in the bottom wedge or are we in the top wedge? Okay. So let's look at you started on this problem. I haven't finished it, but I'm hoping that you could kind of figure out where to go from here. If you're still stuck, uh, reach out and ask. But otherwise, this will get you started on the idea of the pool problem.